popular attraction at Walt Disney World Splash Mountain has closed and been set for rebranding, but fans are already taking pieces of that last attraction as memorabilia and selling it for crazy amounts of money online. I have Katie Rice here. So Katie, it just goes to show Disney fandom and the level fans are willing to go. Yes, Disney fans really do tend to have a collector mindset. When Disney announced that Splash Mountain would be rethemed in 2020, people bought up plushes themed to the characters from the previous version of the Splash Mountain attraction. Last year, it was figment popcorn buckets. And uh, this year, I guess it's Splash Mountain water. People just want to get in on the action. Yeah, and that action is, like, as I mentioned, crazy amounts of money. Like, we're seeing thousands and thousands of dollars for these items. Right. I saw listings going upwards of uh, $13,000, somewhere in that vicinity. Uh, granted, those are the outliers. <laughs> very, very few of the listings that I've seen on sites like eBay, Facebook Marketplace, but particularly eBay, are selling for that amount. Usually, they typically tend to sell somewhere uh, $20 range or below. So if you're hoping to get rich quick off Splash Mountain Water, I'm here to break it to you. It's probably not going to work out that way. Yeah, and, and that's the interesting thing about it is it's like there's not even like proof that this stuff is actually the real thing. It's almost kind of like that old like tourist selling sunshine in a can at Florida like roadside stops. That's a good analogy. Yes, there really is no way to verify this. Uh, as some people have been posting pictures of, say, uh, their ticket to the Magic Kingdom or uh, other ways that they can verify that they were in the area around the day that they claimed to have collected the water. Some people have taken it so far as to create a certificate of authenticity and post it alongside their listing. eBay has said that they are taking measures to ensure that uh, per their policy, listings with certificates of that type are verified as coming from uh, the type of company that can do that sort of verification. But essentially, yes, there really is no way to verify that these water and in some cases rocks from the attraction actually came from Splash Mountain. So there's a lot of uh, trust going on in the fan community for people who want to engage in this kind of uh, collection. And actually some fans have gotten kind of humorous with this and it's almost become a bit of a meme even with listings. Yes, definitely. There are plenty of listings of people saying water, not actually from Splash Mountain, or they will post uh, for sale these baggies, like Ziploc baggies that are actually themed to Splash Mountain, used to be given out at the attraction in prior years. And they'll say, this is a legitimate Splash Mountain baggie, but it's water from my kitchen sink. So I talked with one man, Philip Halfacre of Arkansas, who said that he thought it was absolutely crazy that people were legitimately selling water from Splash Mountain or purporting to do so. So what he did is he filled a mason jar with water from his kitchen sink, posted a picture of it alongside a baggie from the Splash Mountain attraction, clearly labeled it water from my kitchen sink, baggy from Splash Mountain, not real Splash Mountain water, and then put in the description that it was a joke post. Uh, now eBay took his listing down, unfortunately, but he told me that it was all in good fun. He never actually intended to make money off of the listing, but he had plenty of people reaching out and saying, look, this gave me a laugh, this brightened my day. So yeah, the fans are getting in on it too, and, and fans recognize to a certain degree the ridiculousness to which some of this can go. Yeah, and with this ride, as we mentioned, it has closed and it's getting rebranded. Tell us about what the plans are for it. In 2024, the attraction previously known as Splash Mountain will be reopening as Tiana's Bayou Adventure, themed to Disney's 2009 film, The Princess and the Frog. And the setting of this attraction puts us right in the middle of the action. Tiana has opened an employee-owned food collective following the success of her restaurant. And we are gonna be helping her look for a missing ingredient to prepare for her company's Mardi Gras celebration.